Well, some settlement community members and preservation advocates are worried about proposed changes to Charleston County's historic preservation ordinance. A public meeting this evening will give them the opportunity to share their thoughts. Ahead of that meeting, Melissa Rademacher looked into the ordinance and talked with the Historic Charleston Foundation. Um, they would essentially become sort of a, a tacit Board of Architecture review. That's what Justin Schwebler and more than 40 people who wrote letters of opposition to the county fear may be the future of the Historic Preservation Commission. Right now, the commission is part of deciding approval for plans related to historic buildings and advocates say more importantly, historic land. The kind of current proposed amendments would strip the Historic Preservation Commission at the county from being able to make decisions based off land use characteristics. Schwebler says this has implications for places like the Ten Mile and Phillips communities. A huge part of that is the historic African American communities throughout Charleston County. Um, and a, a major part of the significance of those communities is the historic land use pattern. Some of these specific proposed changes to the Historic Preservation Ordinance are taking away the ability of the Historic Commission to nominate properties and districts for designation and taking subdivision regulation away from the Historic Commission. The county cites that in South Carolina law, subdivision regulation is under the Planning Commission. It was really uh, kind of cutting edge for when it was implemented and really um, is important to maintain for Charleston County, especially for these communities. The public hearing in County Council Chambers is just the first step of many leaders and committees reviewing the proposed changes. Tonight, people who live in places like the 10 Mile community plan to voice their opinions and continue to do so. In Charleston County, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.